this is Gali Gopap and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling in control because today our quote of the day is all about mastering your mind and it goes like this. Your mind is your instrument. Learn to be its master and not its slave by Remez Sasson. What does mastering your mind really mean? It means that you understand the place of your mind in the whole scheme of things and you that you use your mind for what it was intended. Your mind was intended to be a tool to help you create what it is that you desire in your life. In my video on wealth, I spoke about the energy field that surrounds everything and is in everything. This energy field can be impressed by thoughts that come from our mind to help us create the things that we want in our life. Our mind can help us gather knowledge and create the life of our dreams when used properly and when mastered. On the other hand, when we let our mind lead and we lose control, then not only we will, we not, will we not reach our dreams, but we will also know a lot of suffering. Our mind can see situations or things, and because it has the power to create, it will start to create different stories in our mind, giving meaning to things that are actually meaningless. The meaning our mind gives to things distorts our view of reality as it is, and we start confusing between what we want to be real and what actually is real. And then, in order to reduce the confusion, we build up stories to support mistruths that we believe in to make them real in our mind. And when we go further from reality, the further we go from reality, then we will suffer a lot of disappointment and frustration in our life. In order to lead a happy and fulfilled life, you must have control over your mind. If you allow your mind to just run rampant, it will start a downward spiral of thoughts that will lead you to depression, addictions, misery, and lack of life. Lack really in all fields of life. Now, we must have control over our mind and see it for what it is. Our mind is a tool. It is a tool for creating. It gathers knowledge, and if we have control over it, it helps us use this knowledge for our benefit to create what we desire in our life. We are constantly experiencing things throughout our life and the feelings and observations that we make when we are experiencing an event become fixed and attached to that event so that when we are in a similar event in the future, the story in our mind that our mind actually made up is what sticks with us and creates our future. So, but when you control your thoughts and feelings by being an observer of the thoughts and feelings, and direct them in the direction of your desires, then you can get an inside perspective right then and there. You can see that most of what you thought was, ima was actually imagined, it was not real, and did not come from truth or from first principles, which never considers feelings or beliefs about a thing, just plain truth or reality. You want to have this control over your mind by focusing on focusing your mind on creating for you what you desire to have and not what you don't desire to have. See my video number 124 on the subject of using your mind to creating whatever it is that you desire. Your mind is in a constant chatter trying to make sense of things to match your beliefs and thoughts. But what if your thoughts and beliefs are wrong? Your mind will still try to make sense of them and elude you further and further from the truth. This is why many wise people meditate. They stop the non-stop running of thoughts through their mind. And by doing this, they can clear up all the fog and allow themselves to be more connected, more connected with life and reality as it is in this present moment. Now, the mind creates all of the turbulence in our life. It creates false beliefs and it proves them right uh, through all sorts of uh, thought patterns. And then we cling to these beliefs, forming a life that we are not really happy with. Our mind also forms a false identity for us that we uh, then go ahead and live by for most of our life until we become aware of this false ad identity and release it from us. Our mind is constantly holding this false identity together. 
But all we need to do is to understand that we are not our mind. We are the observer of our mind. We are pure consciousness that is having a human experience. And our mind is the powerful tool that we have to make the most that we can of this human experience. We cannot reach our fullest potential when we do not have control over our mind. Our mind will lead us to anxiety, fear, worry, victimhood, and all these negative feelings and beliefs that we can hold. But this will only happen when we are not holding the reins of our mind and putting it on the right track for us. Most of us allow our mind to lead our life, and this can be very, very destructive. All of the negativity will come up in such a way. Uh, life because if we are not controlling our mind then our mind will go off course and lead us to a place that we do not want to be and then we may believe that we are actually unlucky or any other negative belief that our mind will start proving to us as being right because this is our belief so our mind it has a job to create to make our beliefs real to us now the amount of control you have over your mind determines the quality of your life. You think that what goes on around you is what determines the quality of your life, but this is not true. You don't need everything to go in a certain way for you to be happy. You just need to control your mind and set it on the right course to produce what you want in your life. And you just need to release it and let it go and surrender to the situation and you will see that you have everything in your life. Michael Singer said, your, your mind is your biggest bully that has ever walked the face of this earth. Now think of what your mind is constantly chattering about. Think of this uncontrolled inner conversation that is going on in your mind at all times. And you will often, you will find that you will most often agree with this statement of Michael Singer. All of the problems of the world and in our lives are caused because we do not have control over our mind. So now that you see how your mind can either make or break you, how do you control it? Well, the answer to that is simple, but the practice of it may take years to do. You connect with who you truly are, and then you don't need anything outside of you to feel happy, loved, and abundant. You have to look inward for truth, happiness, and fulfillment. And when you quieten, quiet the mind, when you quiet your mind, you can tap into your intuition and you will know who you really are by being connected to your true divine nature that is connected to infinite intelligence and to everything around, to other people, to everything. This is the oneness that is always talked about. It is this connection between everything. So the funny thing is that actually, if you want to control your mind, it cannot be done through force or through effort. It can actually only be done in a way, in an opposite way, by releasing all of who we think we are and revealing who we really are. Release all of your unwanted baggage that is held in your mind and blocking you from reaching your fullest potential. You are part of the whole. And following the spiritual path is always about getting rid of something and not adding something to your life. We already have all that we need to be happy and fulfilled within us. We just need to remove all of the, the blockages that block us from seeing this. And all of these blockages come from our mind. Therefore, we need to master our mind. When we remove these limiting beliefs and thoughts from our mind, we become free to enjoy life as it is, a nice experience with an opportunity to be who we are and give of our true nature back to the world to advance and progress the world. That is it. Once you get rid of what doesn't serve you in your life in the form of limiting thoughts and limiting beliefs, then your true highest nature will not be hidden behind all of the fog and you will allow your light to shine in this world. When you don't have the useless chatter going on in your mind all the time, then you have the power to deal with anything that comes along in, your, in the world around you and in your life. You have more energy that is available to you instead of it being wasted on constantly uh, being a slave to your mind. Your self-reflective uh, capacity it increases and as with anything in life, it will just take more practice and you will become better at it. Just make sure that you maintain the right relationship with your mind where you are the master and your mind is your servant.
So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, what chatter is going on in my mind that is blocking my path to unlimited joy and bliss? And what are the thoughts and beliefs that I hold on to that are making me think of my limitations instead of my gifts and instead of the abundance that is all around me? Now that you understand what is blocking you from mastering your mind, go out and release these burdens from you and allow your true nature to reveal itself by stopping all of what you think you are to show up instead and release the tension and the anxiety and the stress and the frustration and the unhappiness and the disappointment and just live. Do your best and sh to show your light and remove from your life whatever is blocking this light from showing up. Just by recognizing your limiting thoughts and beliefs, you will already be releasing some of their effect that they have on you. And do this persistently and you will succeed. So as usual, I recommend writing this, these questions in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and make sure that you are leading your life, mastering your mind and having control over your life and making sure it's going in the right direction for you. So to finish off with, the affirmation of the day is, I am the master of my life. I have all that I ever desire right within me. And by removing my limiting beliefs and thoughts, I am slowly removing all of the fog from my true nature and allowing my true self to show up in life. <laughs> now, it's a little bit long, and uh, but that is the affirmation of the day. And you can uh, repeat it to yourself at least once or twice because it's quite long. And with repetition, it will affect you and it will influence your life um, and actually help you transform your life for the better. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please um, subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new life coaching video. And also, please visit my website, thegorillediet.com, to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.